So lupus is also known as a systemic lupus erythematosus, or in short form, some people may call it as SLE. It's an autoimmune condition um, where the body has developed antibodies, which instead of working as a defensive mechanism against external agents, it works against own body cells. And this is a chronic condition. And one may have multiple symptoms depending on the organ systems involved. So lupus can affect any organ systems. Uh, someone even described this as a disease of thousand faces. And that's because the lupus can vary from individual to individual and it can affect different organ systems in different individuals. And it can be mild to very significant. So it can affect any organ systems head to toe. Um, the most common way people um, notice lupus is you have what we call as constitutional symptoms, meaning one may have uh, fever, one may have uh, loss of appetite or weight loss or fatigue or tiredness or weakness. In addition, there will be some specific symptoms. Those may include skin rash. There is a, a classic type what majority of lupus patients have is the butterfly rash on the face, which affects the area over the nasal bridge and over the cheeks. And if it can affect other areas of the skin too, one may get mouth ulcers, one may present with glands swelling in the neck or other places in the body. One may present a headache, uh, vision problems. Um, a few of them may have chest or heart involvement. If they have heart involvement, they may have fluid around the heart. They may have uh, a dizziness or fainting episodes or tachycardia, meaning very fast beating heart. And they're present to hospital based on those symptoms or one may have joints and muscle symptoms, such as swelling in the joints, uh, similar to juvenile arthritis. They may get restrictions in the joint, muscle weakness, muscle aching. In some where they have preferential kidney involvement, they may not have other organ system involvement. So they may present with constitution symptoms, such as fever or fatigue, or swelling around the eyes, the first thing they wake up in the morning, or they may have puffiness around their feet. Um, some may have headaches too. And when you check the urine, they will have uh, protein and blood in the urine. In some where they have preferential um, neurological involvement, meaning nervous system involvement, they may present with um, headaches. They may present with uh, hallucinations. They may present with uh, some psychiatric symptoms. Although very rare, we have seen that as a preferential symptom, or they may have spinal cord inflammation too. In a small proportion, they may have only abnormality in the bloods where they have low platelets, they may bruise easily, they may have low hemoglobin, uh, low vital count, and they may present to the blood doctors with that. And then when you do the blood tests, you come across certain antibodies that are positive for lupus, and that's how one may diagnose. So as you can see, the presentation can vary from one to another, and it can present in multiple different ways. What triggers lupus is a very interesting question because the way we describe any autoimmune condition is that there is some genetic predisposition, meaning we all made of certain genes that dictate who we are, how we are, what we are. Um, something in a genetic uh, system, something the genes uh, predispose, although one doesn't know if one is the gene that actually to blame, there may be a constellation of uh, genes which may predispose us. And any environmental trigger, the known triggers in the environment are infection or UV radiation, but there are other potential triggers we do not know exactly alone or in combination may hit the immune system and the immune system will want to work as a defensive um, um, portal and start making antibodies. That is the role of the immune system. Unfortunately, in situations such as lupus, 
those antibodies are fighting against own body cells and those antibodies start attacking the body cells any think of the skin it could be kidneys it could be heart it could be gut muscles bones or joints when it happens it may present with those symptoms affecting those organ systems and if you do the blood test you will see those antibodies are elevated and that's how we diagnose lupus now we do not know if any particular food triggers but um what we suggest is one has to eat well and have a balanced diet to keep the immune system in good place and help the body fight in an appropriate way rather than actually uh, succumbing to the autoimmune process unfortunately there is no cure for this chronic autoimmune condition the best the next best thing we have is choice of medications that will help control the inflammation and um minimize or prevent um any progress of the disease and help the individual lead as normal life as possible so the choice of medication will vary and depend on what organ systems are involved in most patients and i would say in almost all the patients with a diagnosis of lupus we use a medication called hydroxychloroquine now that is an anti malarial drug um which is a weak anti inflammatory but pro with profound benefit and that is something that's used uh, which work uh, in minimizing certain organ system uh, flares such as skin flare or kidney flare so most patients with lupus will be uh, recommended to use hydroxychloroquine but there are other medications that are used depending on which organ systems you have been affected with uh, steroids remain the common stay because they help control the inflammation faster but we cannot use it for longer but if you have kidney disease your rheumatologist may suggest a medication called mmf in short form or mycophenolate mofetil one may suggest azathioprine depending on the organ system involved if you have joints affected muscles affected one may suggest methotrexate as the medication or in very rare situations we may go for other immunomodulatory or immunosuppressive medications such as rituximab or cyclophosphamide so this entirely depends on whether your heart is affected kidney is affected lupus affected or only blood system is affected 